on a convoy and uh, we struck a boulder in the road which uh, made us roll over into a ditch. Since I was on top of the truck, it essentially uh, crushed me and my spinal cord. So I received a call in the afternoon of July 5th and it was a woman who called me. I was a little confused because I didn't realize he was outside the wire and she told me he had been involved in an accident and that he was paralyzed. After I was medevac, I spent a couple days in Kandahar, Afghanistan, and then they uh, medevac me to Lancel, Germany. And it was an entire nine days between when he was injured and when I got to finally see him in Bethesda. I saw him the day that he arrived at Walter Reed in the ICU. It, it was very reassuring knowing I had my family and loved ones next to me, knowing you know they're going to be there to support me and help me through my peeling. Right now, we're, uh, we're renting a house in Noblesville, Indiana. I can only enter the house through the garage uh, on a ramp that friends built for me so I can get in and out. So I, I can't go in the front door, and I can't go out in the back door. If I want to go out back, she has to help me out back so I can you know, grill outside or play with our dog. So uh, the issues for me really come when it comes to the bathrooms. They're really tight. I can only, if, I can only go in forward and I have to go out of it backwards. Use your shower bench to get in and out of the bathtub, which even the smallest gaps, they look small, but when you're transferring, it, it seems like a mile that you have to jump. And just recently, I was making the transfer and lost my balance and hit my head on the sink. The biggest issue for me are safety concerns. Like him transferring into the shower, he could slip, like he said, hit his head. And when he's in the kitchen, he has to be like sideways next to the stove and like leaning up to see like a pot of boiling water, which makes me very nervous. The homes that Homes for Our Troops builds, it, it gives us back our freedom, our mobility. The, the hardwood floors and being able to move through the house freely and not having to worry about getting cotton carpet. Just being able to go into the kitchen with the pull-down cabinets, I can get it myself. and I don't have to worry so much about, you know, twisting and being uncomfortable cooking, you know, pasta and having boiling water spill everywhere. A home from Homes for Our Troops would really alleviate a lot of my safety concerns. With the shower bench built into the shower, he can just transfer right over without a big gap in between. He can pull right up to it. Just the mere fact of being able to be home alone and not have to worry. She can go out and do things, you know, with her friends and not have to worry about me being home alone. We would love to start a family down the road and that freedom that he has to get into his children's room or to get help give them a bath. And I could leave him alone with the kids and not worry that he couldn't reach something that they needed. The fact that there's people out there like Homes for Our Troops that actually give us you know, these beautiful homes that are adapted so we can live you know, full, normal lives is, is amazing. It's unrepayable. A, a simple thank you doesn't do enough. It's just amazing everyone that's so generous and appreciates the sacrifice that he made. <laughs>